Hey there, it's Brad from The Morning Show. You know, it's only June, and I've already had uh, three run-ins with large dogs being loose in my neighborhood. Last night, uh, a big Great Dane came out at my daughter while we were riding bikes, was growling very aggressive. I thought it was going to attack her. My, my wife and I yelled at the dog, and that was... Uh, and that was enough to get it to back down. Turns out yelling at the dog is actually the wrong thing to do, and I'll explain why in just a couple seconds. Uh, because of this, you know, aside from the fact that owners should be responsible and keep their dogs behind fences, I Googled some things you should do in case you're attacked by an aggressive dog, and I came up with, with three that I found online. Do, you own, do your own research. Um, I'm not a dog expert, uh, but uh, these are the three things that came up frequently online while I was looking. First of all was dog mace. Now, according to the website, the spray will not only uh, stop most attacks, but it will also mark the dog with a UV dye so the dog can be identified later if needed. According to uh, CaesarsWay.com, they say you should avoid acting aggressive towards the dog. This is where the yelling comes in. They say don't yell at the dog because that sends a message to the dog that you're trying to invade their space. They say the best thing you can do is stay still, don't make eye contact, that's also an aggressive move, and just claim the small space that you're in, and most likely, now they're saying, they, they say most likely, the dog will just interpret that as this, that's your space, you're not trying to get into their space, so the dog will leave you alone, in theory. And finally, the, uh, the last option, and this comes with a little bit of controversy too and some disagreement uh, that I've seen, some, some contradictions online, and that is sticking your finger um, up the dog's rear. Now, is option is certainly not pretty. Uh, I, I, I suppose I can see how it might surprise a dog. If I was in a fight with somebody and I was being the aggressor, I know I would certainly think twice if they took that route with me. So um, it, it may be an option. Uh, that said, the National Dog Breeders Council claims that that is a myth and that it will not work, especially with many super aggressive dogs that were bred to be fighters. They're used to fighting with, uh, with broken legs. So certainly um, a, f a strategically placed finger is not going to make any difference. And in the end, you'll just wind up bleeding, being bit, and look ridiculous at the same time. So again, do your own research. Uh, check out the links that are right down there to all the different things that I found you could do. And, and for the love of Pete, if you have a dog, keep it in the backyard behind a friggin' gate, okay? Thank you. Uh, finally, and this, is, this one comes with a little bit of controversy, and that is um, sticking your finger up a, 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 its butt. <laughs> I can't do this.